Last week, AEW Dynamite delivered another low rating of 633,000 viewers. But don't worry, some good news this week. They're actually up 1%. But the bad news is, instead of being the fifth lowest Dynamite of the year, like last week, this week, they are the sixth lowest Dynamite of the year. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. It's a step in the right direction, I guess, Sixth lowest isn't as bad as fifth lowest, but I mean, who are we kidding here? This new band of numbers, this new range that AEW find themselves in is nothing short of abysmal. Whether it's low 600s, mid 600s, high 600s, whether they sneak into the 700s or screw it. Even if they got back above 800k, which they haven't done now for, I believe, 29 weeks, that's still shite. That is still incredibly low. Wrestling's dying. AEW is dying. The numbers are doing the toilet. This week, last year, they did 901. That's all you need to know. They are down 236,000. Yeah. Is it? No, it's more than that. 901. 901. All oh, right, yeah, uh, 200, uh, 200 and uh, 70, 66,000. Aye, so I mean, that's a quarter of a million. Aye, well, more. Ah, well, yeah, more, yeah but just to dumb it down for the, the Yanks out there. I mean, that's more, that's just a wee bit over a quarter of a million. Dumb it down for the two guys that couldn't yeah. work out. <laughs> Aye, but. Half two in the morning, cut us some slack. Hope you guys appreciate every night, man. We sit up to the early hours of the morning to bring you these ratings. See, Yanks, I don't even know what a 24 hour clock is. Hold on, what's it with you, Barry? Why you turned, why you got one of these like evil foreign gimmicks here where you're just bashing Americans? Because I don't like America. Well, I don't mind one side of America. I'll give them that, like. Make sure you vote, guys. The election's coming up. Vote it's- early. Is it there for the other side? It's an important election. We're not going to tell you who to vote for <coughs> Trump. But uh, yeah, get your votes in early because this one. Mine are in. This one is important. This one matters. And I tell you what, I'll tell you what doesn't matter though. Chris Jericho winning the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. He trolled people. He, he lost the match at the pay per view. So people would thought, oh, there's Chris putting over Mark Briscoe. Chris ain't going to hog the Ring of Honor World Championship again, only to snatch it away from him a few weeks later. King of my world. Anyway, into the ratings that you guys are here to talk about. So this week, did 637,000 fuels. Well, they're not talking about it, we're talking about yeah, it. Yeah, well, they want well, they want to hear us talk about it. 637,000 fuels. And that, of course, is, like I said, the sixth lowest dynamite of the year, so not very good. It is up 4,000 on last week. I mean, really marginal, nothing impressive. Now, this week's demo was 0.19, and that is the lowest demographic since the 7th of August 2024 show. So, yeah, lowest demo there in about two and a half months. And there, I guess there was competition from, let me see, there was competition from Two NBA games on ESPN, and apparently Kamala Harris was in the town hall doing a program with CNN. But we've seen her rallies. Only about 10 people turn up to them. So I'll give Tony Khan the benefit of the doubt, and I'll say he might have lost 10 fuels to Kamala Harris, but no more than 10. So therefore, there's no real excuse for this number being so low. There was two scripted things on last night then. Aye, two scripted things. Anyway, uh, thoughts before we go into the YouTube clips for the week. I don't care who they were against, man. The rating's abysmal, right? As for the show itself, I think there's a weird trend. It's like, I didn't think the show was that bad. I gave it a 3 out of 10, fun fact. But everyone else, like the marks that don't like bum like A-Dub, were bashing it. JD from New York is double dipping in on Tony Khan. Well, hold on. He's been bashing it for a while. It's not like he's singled out this show. No, no, he did. He did. He, he's saying there's a guy in his DMs, like, giving him death threats for a certain company. And I've, I've got a feeling it's Dax Harwood. Don't quote me on it, though. He is going in on Tony Khan. No, hold on here. I, I don't think so. Da- Dax Harwood called out JD for being obsessed. It would it would be double standards if Dax Harwood then went and DM'd him and 
threatening to kill him because he's got a negative opinion of dynamite. Well, he says he was. He says whoever said it, or whoever the guy is, was going to drag him up the street and batter him. Who's that sound like to you? I think there's very few people in wrestling today that would actually fucking say that to him. So, oh, I don't know. Everyone's afraid of JD New York or something. No, because they're all because they're all shite bags. And Dax Harwood isn't. Point is, the guy thinks he's tough because he's got a Steve Austin here. Point is, I think when the Marks don't like Dynamite shows, we tend to actually not mind them. I didn't mind this show, I'll be honest. I've noticed that. See, see the see the AEW shows that get shit on the most. The other shows we tend to go, you know, it's not bad. Yeah. Now I didn't see this show, so I can't really comment. All I can do is look at the results. But let's get into the most viewed YouTube video clips. Then, as of three minutes past four. PM today. So, first place, 148,000 views. Undisputed Kingdom reunion. Adam Cole and Roderick Strong set their sights on MJF, baby. Uh, 148,000. That's it. Thoughts? Highest viewed clip here. I think it's pathetic numbers, man. Well, I don't think I know. It's like 148,000 views. Nowhere near WWE. Let's, let's be no. honest, man. WWE's delivering some no. clip. You'll we, get we, smacked down, man. Yo, some of the smacked people, down clips are no, shocking. People can say the TV ratings don't matter. Dynamite's clips have fucking nosedived since the beginning. True, but so have SmackDowns recently. SmackDown have the, sometimes SmackDown will have a clip that goes above a couple of million or whatever with the bloodline, but we've also seen some Cody Road clips with SmackDown that get like two, three hundred K. Yeah. So... But uh, yeah, Dynamite, just, I, I mean, it's all the same, isn't it? You factor in TV ratings, you, you factor in attendances, you factor in the lack of views on the videos for the YouTube channel. It all, it all correlates to just a lack of interest for fans. Yeah, I mean, dare I say, it smells like shite for AEW. I mean, it's just, see the ratings, the money, they're in the red. They can whip out 185 million TV deal, but see, at the end of the day, everything is consistently going down. Like, they're marking it because I think they sold, like, 10% more seats for, like, next week's than they did this week's. And they're like, see, that's what happens when you advertise matches in advance. They're mar- oh, because, oh, Adam Cole against Jay White, I want to see that match. AW's, di- no, AW's dying in front of our very eyes. It's dying! Uh, second place, we it's, have... It's like your man Jimmy Carter, right? Former President of the United States. He's dead, but he's being kept alive because he's, he, he's meant it and he's a former president. You know what I mean? It's one more thought for Kamala. So. Aye, aye. Anyway, uh, second place, 117,000 views. The Elite Clash with Daniel Garcia and Private Party. The Elite. Who cares? Who, no, who does care? I mean, 117,000 people look here, but... Just look at them. Do they look like elite athletes? It's a shite name, and It's a generic name. I know elite means, like, greatness, and you're the elite. You're, you're the top, the cream of the crop. But it's like, it's just... You would imagine evolution were called uh, the elite. They are the E in AEW. I know, but it's just shite, though, isn't it? No, it's it not. It's, it's a very generic name. No, I know, but... I mean, they, they actually lost this much. That's what it is. Um, third place, we have 110,000 views. Ladder War. Who walked out? Ring of Honor World Champion. Jericho or Briscoe? Now, this is what people had a problem with. It wasn't so much that Jericho won there. Pro- it's the fact that... I'll tell you what, though, just before you talk it anymore, I want to say, I think that's a well-worded clip, by the way. Ladder War. Who walked out? I, I think that... Aye. Without, I think if you word that differently, this is not getting 110,000 views. I agree, but uh, the problem with this match people had is that... Jericho's faction battered Mark Briscoe and helped Jericho win but then as soon as Jericho won that Ashi guy came out who's an ally of Mark Briscoe and Why he, didn't, he didn't help him during the match that's what people are crying about and saying it's like one of the worst Dynamite shows of all time even Wrestle Headlines who we read our results from give it like a 6 out of 10 and they consistently give Dynamite like 8s 8.5s 9s people are not happy with the Tony Cam booking uh, Shelton Benjamin with MVP battles Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champion Sammy Guevara 4th place 100,000 views 5th place 85,000 views the AEW locker locker room awaits the arrival of the AEW World Champion John Moxley 85,000 views 
That's what happens when the AEW locker room's a bunch of bums. Uh, sixth place, 70,000 views. Hook confronts the group that attacked his father, the patriarchy. Nobody cares about Hook at all. Seventh place, 55,000 views. Don Callis, his family, proto star. Kyle Fletcher addresses Will Osprey. Cuts his hair as well, good for him. And in eighth place, with 41,000 views, Hangman Adam Page calls out Jay White and the Bang Bang Gang. How many times do we hear that Hangman Adam Page is like one of the biggest star? Or some people say he's the biggest star in AEW, or he's the best guy they've produced. Or he's been the, the most consistent in the five-year run of the company. He doesn't, doesn't, this do, kicked doesn't off, produce numbers. This kicked off the show, right? And say, and say what you want, say what you want about everyone. I mean, Hangman Adam Page is getting like a quarter of what the top clip got. Embarrassing. Not very good. So that is the numbers, guys. The numbers don't look good for AEW. The numbers don't look good for Tony Khan. But here, they haven't looked good for a very, very long time. And uh, yeah, when is the next AEW pay-per-view? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't really care. Um, I don't do you, know. When do you think... How quickly did TNA's ratings go down the toilet if you compare it? Um, I think it was a, 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 it was several years. Like once it was a decline over several years. I'm pretty right. and sure. And that's what we're seeing here. I think looking at WCW, I think it's a wee bit unfair because they're actually going up against you know a fucking juggernaut. Dynamite's just going up against itself, and it still can't fucking draw a dime. It's like how see. Say, uh, 2026, right? Uh, Mania season. What do you think Dynamite will be doing? So that is, what, a year and a half away? Do you think Dynamite will be in collision territory? Very possible. If nothing changes, why not? What can change, though? What what, what can they do? Well, like you said, over a year ago, the, the thought of them getting under 800 was, you know... Yeah, and if you take quarter of a million off this show, you're looking at 400,000, which is collision territory. Maybe it's a wee bit... We got more in collision territory to be fair. But you know what? I wonder. I wonder if Tony Khan's got a breaking point because obviously we see McMahon and that raw, and he was like, "Fuck it, attitude error has to happen." You know, we can't keep getting our ass kicked for uh, WCW. Something needs to change. These ratings are low. You, you, we've seen WWE do it in the past. I wonder, but you know what? That's the only time we've really seen it. We haven't really seen it since then, because. Anytime when WWE's ratings started to go on the decline again, they'd already beat WCW, ECW, out of business. There was no competition. And, and since they've been the big dog, they've just been kind of content going down, down, down. Now, obviously, we've seen when TNA moved to Monday nights, WWE upped their game for a little bit. But then seven weeks later, TNA were like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> we're going back to Thursday. Due to popular demand. And then WWE kind of just, you know, took their foot off the pedal. And... <laughs> It, with, with, with TNA it's like when they gra when they started declining you never felt like there was an urgency oh shit right, we need to improve the product massively they started moving to all these like obscure networks and they just they just seemed to accept uh, we're not getting back to a million we'll, we'll just move to Destination America Pop TV all these shite channels and, and with TNA now it's like they're sitting there claiming oh this is the best error TNA this is fantastic they can't e TNA can't even get rated because the ratings are that low, they can't they can't even break into like the top fifty TV shows. Therefore, the numbers don't exist. But anytime we see it, a TNA number, I mean, they can't get like a hundred k. It's embarrassing. So I mean, we've seen companies just not really tend to care about ratings. And you know what? I, I think Tony Khan has shown us enough over the five years that he doesn't really care about ratings, or else he'd have done something differently. Oh, why? So to answer your question. I don't think there is a point where Tony Khan's going to go, right, this is enough, I need to stop booking these wee vanilla midgets, I need to start booking stars to get these ratings up. I think if he, I think if Tony Khan had a breaking point, we'd have seen it already. Five, I think, uh, five years is five years, and the stars of yesteryears are are done. The The scary thing is, there is very few draws left in wrestling that can actually go. You're getting to the point now where you need to create your own. And you can't. Because... See, when it's been a bit fucking... When it's been over well over a decade since the last star's been created, I mean, what fucking chance you got? But you look at WWE, like, 10 years ago, I mean, they could whip back The Rock, or, you know, they still had Cena. You know, they, they could get Taker to come out for another match. They could tell Triple H, ah, your heart's going to be all right, go and put the boots on one more time. Oh, Sting could come to the WWE for the first time ever. Goldberg wants to come back. You know, 
see, 10 years ago, even though all those guys were old, they could come back for, like, you know, a few matches a year. Yeah, getting to the point now, it's like, no one really can come back. No. Everyone's getting old. Unless you're Chris Jericho. Yeah, but we've seen that, I mean, let's not pretend he's a draw these days. No. There's very few. Wrestling's just dead. Who is the biggest draw still out there? Obviously, it's The Rock, but he ain't going to AEW. That's never going to happen. Yo, it's The Rock, right? But look at The Rock, man. It's not like his numbers are insane. No, they're not. But who could AEW bring in? I mean, probably Shane McMahon's the biggest. I'd say Brock's realistic. I think with Brock, and Mc, I think with McMahon being out the WWE, Brock's loyalty to WWE might not be what it once was. And I think that he could potentially go to AEW if the money was right. But I, I, I just can't see a Brock Lesnar fitting in AEW with all these guys. I can't see Tony Khan getting Brock either. Yeah, you can just imagine the elite in his ear. Oh no, I can't be bringing him in. It's a bad idea. He's not a star, Tony. Can't wrestle, Tony. I tell you, I'd give up all the money in my bank account for there to be like a Punk Perry incident, but with Brock Lesnar and the Elite. Four on one, I think. You'd see the ratings if they were like, here, yeah, Brock Lesnar fucking killed the four of them backstage. And it was like a two hour. Dynamite. You were going to show the security footage. It was just a two hour brawl. Right. For Dynamite, the numbers would be after the charts. I don't think it'd be a two hour brawl. I think it'd be a 10 second fucking pick and mix. All right, a two minute brawl and an hour 58 of the ambulance crew coming in to try and, Nino, Nino. Try and uh, save the elite. Anyway, guys, that's it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. We'll be back next time. Until then, peace.